when the elephants came to honor the man who had, had looked after them, and some of you may have seen this, but they walked for over a day even before he died and then held vigil in front of his house. These are signs for people that reflect. The animals pray for us. According to our tradition, the, 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 the fish in the ocean pray for the righteous. Our prophet said, minhu." the one who has repose and the one others have repose from them. They said, who are they, O messenger of God? And he said, those who live righteously, when they die, they have repose. And those who live corrupting, when they die, people, trees, rivers, and animals have repose from them. That's the choice. And I, I really want to drive this point home because I think this is one of the most important verses for me in the New Testament. And I'm in a great Christian city of Louisville, traditionally. Um, it's, 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 you see churches everywhere. You know, there, there, there was a love. And there's incredible amount of, of uh, beauty and truth. Uh, despite the history, we tend to forget that the history of religions is the history of their ego, not of their soul. But for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. People that, that created planned obsolescence, this is from spiritual wickedness in high places. And, and we have to recognize that we cannot support these people. That there are people out there that are actively engaged in harming this world world. They're doing it because they're complete slaves of their own desires. And you cannot be a steward if you're filled with your own egoistic desires. You can't. And that's why one of the things that we have to remember, the, the Catholics divided the sins into the hot sins and the cold sins. And we tend to forget, you know, the hot sins are easy to recognize, gluttony, wrath, and, and lust. And, and Dorothy Sayers reminded us that when a, when a society loses its spiritual center, sex is always the spiritual outlet. So this obsession with sex, which is also related to the rape of the earth, to the way we treat Mother Earth, because of our degradation of our objectification of women. And this is much more a male problem than a female problem. Pornography is largely a male problem, but not entirely. But we have to there are hot sins and cold sins, but the cold sins are often praised in our society, the sins of avarice, right? the sins of envy, the sin of pride, the great sin, which is a sin against one's excellence. And, and then the sin of sloth, which sloth is not laziness. Acedia, in, in the traditional understanding, sloth was spiritual laziness. You, a CEO could be out there working a 120-hour work week, and he's still slothful because he's forgotten his soul or she's forgotten her soul. And this is what we have to remember. Robert Frost said, some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. 